somebody. I'm going to give it a minute for people to come on here because this is, this, this is crazy. I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a minute. Let some people get on here. We done everything. Uh, I don't know if y'all can hear me. Hold on. Let me put my headset on just in case y'all can't hear me. All right. There we go. Just in case. Just in case. <laughs> this is downright this is stupid. <laughs> um. All right, I'm going to uh, let that sit here for a minute. <clears throat> let people read the headline. Jamie Foxx has been cloned. <laughs> Woo. Crazy people in this world, man. Crazy, crazy, crazy people in this world. So, <clears throat> see how many people I'm going to get on this before I, before I, <laughs> before, I <laughs> before I go in here on this, on this, Cloning of Jamie Foxx. <laughs> I mean, people are crazy, man. This is it's downright, downright crazy. Um, all right, I'm not gonna wait. I, I, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. People can chime in, and they can kind of, you know, chime in, say what they want, you know, do what they want, or whatever the case may be. But, um, but um, I just got off of a YouTube um, conversation with someone. And had a whole conversation with why the idea that Jamie Foxx has been cloned is the stupidest and most idiotic thing that anyone could ever conceive of. I did not realize that there were so many unintelligent, stupid, and crazy people in this world. I mean, stupidity has become an epidemic. And social media has really pulled back the veil on how many mentally ill and socially stu stupid people there are on this planet. I just had a whole conversation, a whole drawn out debate with some people on YouTube that were saying that the video of Jamie Foxx on the yacht is not him, he's been cloned, it's a doppelganger, it's a lookalike, it's this, it's that. People, please. <laughs> First of all, let's address the cloning thing, okay? Oh, where do I where do I even begin? All right, first of all, yes, cloning is possible. That's been proved that scientists have proved that you can clone, you know, living and you know real material. Even though cloning of people have been banned, but let's just say they were to clone a person. First of all, this is number one. <laughs> I have to really understand this. This is not television. This is not the movies. This is not Hollywood. You cannot clone a whole human being, a grown man, a grown person in a few months. <laughs> and a clone, if 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 you were to clone someone, it would not be the same person. Yes, all cloning is. All cloning is is a duplication of your exact DNA structure. Yes, DNA wise, genetically wise, it's the same person. But that person is not you. A clone is like a brother or a sister or something. Of, it's like a twin. That's basically what a clone is. A clone has to be born, either inseminated into a woman's womb or 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 birth through some type of, you know, system of, that, that emulates a woman's womb, and then that person has to live, grow, and learn just like you did. That person is not going to be all, all of a sudden duplicated with your memories and your experiences and your, you know, your entire life experiences. Please, people, really, are you really, are people really that stupid? Are people really that stupid? A clone has to grow up and learn and develop just like you did. And in doing that, that person is not you. They don't have your experiences. They don't have your memories. They don't have, you know, the same capacity as you do because 99% of who we are is our experiences, what we have learned through the years, how we were raised, the people we have come in contact with who have helped us to develop our mindset, our education level, things of that nature. A clone is not automatically made with all that stuff. A clone is just another person that has your exact DNA copy. 
That's the, that's the only thing that a clone has in common with the person who, who they were cloned from. Duh! So how is it that Jamie Foxx, who is 15, 8 years old, I think he's my age, 58 years old, in a few months has been cloned to make another grown 58 year old <laughs> that's gonna walk around and ride on yachts and things of that nature. You people are stupid. I know Facebook is probably gonna take this down. They may even ban me for a while, but I, 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 I just couldn't keep, I mean, I can't keep quiet about this stuff anymore. These people on social media, they are stupid. You people are stupid. Please. Please, if, if your mentality, if your intellect is at that level, stay off social media. Because there's some people that you would never know that who were that stupid, who were that crazy, who were that insane if they just kept their mouth shut. If they just stay off social media, you would never know that they're that stupid. But people who you would think are normal, somewhat intelligent people are revealing themselves to be total idiots. Idiots. Idiots, and they will argue with you up and down. Oh no, that's a clone. That's not Jamie Foxx. That's a clone. That's a clone. You're a sheep if you believe that's Jamie Foxx. That's a clone. No, you're an idiot if you believe that's a clone. Cloning does not work like that, people. It doesn't work like that. Come on, man. <laughs> Educate yourself. Now, let's get on the subject of well, well, uh, uh, uh you know. And someone said, <laughs> well, 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 you got to admit, you know, just to, you know, how this man recover from being blind and paralyzed? First of all, who said he was blind and paralyzed? What doctor should have come out and said, Jamie Foxx is blind and paralyzed? What medical report has been published that says Jamie Foxx is blind and paralyzed? What legitimate, what legitimate source has said Jamie Foxx is blind and paralyzed? Blind and paralyzed. Well, the source has been the same dumbass, stupid ass people who said that he was cloned. Those are the sources. Come on. Really? <laughs> you know, somebody said, well, he was something happened to him. Well, yeah, obviously something happened to him. There was a credit report that said he had a medical complication. Could it be a stroke? Yes, it could be a stroke. I'm going to let y'all in on something. Believe it or not. Y'all see me? I'm waving. I'm talking. I get up and walk around. Y'all see me on video all the time. Do y'all know that a year and a half ago I had a stroke? Ha ha! A year and a half ago, I had a stroke. Did I go blind? Nope. Was I paralyzed? Nope. Did I even stop doing the things that I was doing? Nope. Y'all still saw me on video. Y'all still saw me broadcast. I may have cut back on some things. <clears throat> okay? I, I cut back on my classes and things that I do all the time because I was recovering from my stroke. Yes, I had a stroke. There you have it. 58 years old, same age as Jamie Foxx. But did that stop me from whatever I do? No, it limited me. Now, I'm not at near, I'm not the stature of Jamie Foxx. A whole lot of my life and my income and, 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 and my legacy is not dependent on how people view me. But it is dependent on how people view him. So him keeping quiet about whatever his medical condition was, whether it was a stroke, whether it was hypertension, whether, whatever it was, it's his business and none of ours. None of our business. None of our business. Does he have a right to protect his image? Yes, he does. Does he have a right to somehow insulate his family, his image, and the people who he employs? Because there are literally hundreds, probably thousands of people that depends on this man for their livelihood. So more than he owes us as his fans, he owes those people. Those people is the one that he owes. And that's why that's why I suspect he's, he's kept quiet, which he should. He should keep quiet about this stuff. I didn't put it out there when I got a stroke. I kept quiet about mine. Yeah, my family didn't even know I had a stroke. My mom didn't even know I had a stroke. <laughs> I, my mom hadn't seen me in about a year, and then was like, well, Calvin, why have you been there? When I finally went out there, that's when I told her, well, you know, I suffered a stroke last year. And she said, well, why you didn't tell me? Because it wasn't none of y'all business. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's why I didn't tell y'all. I didn't tell my family. I didn't tell my closest friend. I didn't tell anybody. They didn't have a stroke. Why should I tell them? I had a stroke. Okay? When I was homeless, none of them seemed to care about that. <laughs> right? When I, was, when I was homeless for 18 months, not, not one family member came out and said, hey, Calvin, come live with me. Hey, Calvin, come do this. Hey, Calvin, can I help you out? Hey, Calvin, can I give you a ride? Hey, Calvin, can I um, let, put a deposit, you know, on an apartment? So, hey, Calvin, can I help you get a job? So why the hell should I tell them I had a stroke? Hmm? I got through that on my own. I get, I got the, I get through this on my own. See, people need to understand something. Individuals, we are not obligated to let everybody else know what's going on with us. And Jamie Foxx is no different. Leave that man alone. Yes, that was him on his yacht. He's a blessed man. He can afford a yacht to ride. A, if I could afford a yacht when I had my stroke, I'd have been riding around on my yacht too. <laughs> you know, waving with my left hand or my right hand. It don't matter. So he said, well, he's waving with his left hand. Really? That's your reason for saying it's not Jamie Foxx because he's waving with his left hand? <laughs> but let's let's get something straight. First of all, he could or could not be waiting with his left hand. He could be waiting with his right hand because there's a such thing called as a mirror view on cameras. When you have your when you have a mirror, most people don't realize when they're recording stuff that they have what's called their mirror view on on their cameras. So when it looks like a person is waving with their Left hand, they're actually waving with their right hand. <laughs> These people, I mean, people are so, oh my God, I, 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 I just can't fathom that, that, would, that, that there are actually this many unintelligent, uninformed, idiotic, crazy, stupid people in this world. Social media has really shined a light on who is really stupid and unintelligent. Okay? This has gotten way too bad. It's gotten way out of hand. It's gotten way out of hand. People, get a life. Get a life. Okay? Jamie Foxx is a man. He hasn't been cloned because that wouldn't be possible to clone a full-grown person in a matter of two or three or four or six months. <laughs> Okay, that person has to live a life just like you, just like you and I did, just like any other person. They would have to grow up and live a life. They can't just automatically be cloned and bam, there they are, full grown man with all the memories, being able to talk and all this other stuff, this, this, and that. Stupid. People watch too much television, watch too much movies, watch too many movies. Really, I mean, what world are you all living in? And these people are having full blown conversations and arguments on YouTube and on. TikTok and on social media as if they are actually intelligent people when their very words are proven just the opposite. People, please, please, if you believe Jamie Foxx was cloned, keep your mouth shut about it. Don't let other people know that you're that stupid. Don't reveal that. Well, there's those of us out here who thought that some of these people were actually intelligent, normal people until they started speaking. <sighs> Silence will help you keep the illusion of intelligence. <laughs> Believe that. Some of you should never speak in public. You should never, you know, let these crazy thoughts you have in your head be put out on social media because it, it really shows just how crazy and how idiotic and how stupid you are. So, um, look, people, leave that man alone. He'll let you all know in his own time when he's ready to let you all know. So if he wants to protect the people who he are responsible for, then let him do that. And y'all leave that man alone. Okay, I mean, that's all I got to say about that. Uh, I normally don't <laughs> remark on stuff like this, but I don't know, it's just gotten crazy, man. It's just gotten crazy. Because someone has decided to keep private their personal health and information Everybody is speculating and, and giving out these crazy, crazy, crazy scenarios. I mean, just absolute craziness. Come on, people. I mean, think for a 
second. Just think for a second. Think for a second. Okay? That's all I got to say, y'all. Look, <clears throat> on another flip, Freight Broker Franchising is all the rage. Uh, you know, we've, we've got 10 franchises uh, out right now for Hall of Boards. We just signed a contract with another brokerage firm that we are um, uh, managing their daily operations experience uh, with an S, logistics, and we have um, franchise opportunities available for that brokerage firm as well. If you haven't heard about freight broker franchises, don't feel bad because we're the only one doing it. Okay? Now, as far as I know, there may be another company out there, but as, as doing my research and things that we looked around for, we're the only company that is doing what's called freight broker franchises. And it is a much easier and more affordable and less encumbersome way to get into the broker side of the freight and trucking industry than becoming a freight broker. Becoming a freight broker is way too expensive. You know, you're going to spend on average anywhere from uh, $5,000, maybe $12,000, $15,000 just becoming a freight broker, and you're going to spend about $1,800 per month in your monthly expenses. With freight broker franchise, you can get involved with, with us as a freight broker franchise with either hollow board or spirit logistics with just $2,500 on your franchise fee, which can be financed through a firm for only $87 per month, and your monthly expenses, or your total monthly expenses, $1.99 a month. That's it. And we're going to recruit, hire, and train 25 to 30 salespeople to work in your branch, in your franchise branch. And on top of that, you don't even have to do anything about freight brokers. we got our management firm, us at RBBS Corporate Consultants um, for freight broker startups. We will manage and run your branch for you. Look, everybody, thank you all for joining me on this live. I, I normally don't do this, but I had to say something. So y'all have a good morning. I got to get back to work. Bye, everybody.